What is going on YouTube? Just helping you out here. And for today's video, I'll be doing Chapter 3, Problem 1, in the Fundamentals of Physics 10th Edition Textbook by Walker, Halliday, and Resnick. Chapter 3 is all about vectors, and in Problem 1, we are asked to find the x and y component of a vector given the direction and magnitude. And so the first thing that I want to do is just draw a little picture. So we'll say this is our xy plane. So this is x, this is y, and if we think about this in terms of degrees, this is 0 degrees, this is 90 degrees, this is 180 degrees, and this is 270 degrees. And so we are told that theta is equal to 250 degrees counterclockwise from the positive x-axis. So that would mean 250 degrees this way, and since this is 270 and this is 180, we know that our vector must be somewhere in between there, closer to 270, so I will just draw it about right there. And then we have this right here, and that arrow right there signifies theta. We'll call this A. The arrow on top just means this is a vector, and the magnitude of A, the magnitude is signified by the bars on either side, kind of like an absolute value bar, and we're told that is equal to 7.3 meters. And so now for part A, we are asked to find the X component. So A of X is equal to the magnitude of A times the cosine of theta. That is the generic equation for the x component of a vector, the magnitude of a vector times the cosine of the angle. And since we are given both of those values in the problem, we can plug those directly in. 7.3 meters times the cosine of 250 degrees. And if you plug that into your calculator, you will find that the x component of the vector is equal to negative 2.5 meters. Just make sure when you plug this in, your calculator is in degree mode and not radian mode. And just as a little sanity check for this, we see that we have an x component of 2.5 meters in the negative x direction. So if we look back at our vector here, the x component of this vector is that right there. So that signifies A of x, and if you look at this component, it's pointing in the negative x direction, so that makes sense. And in addition, since this vector is closer to 270 degrees than it is to 180, the magnitude of that x component should be much less than the magnitude of this vector, and 2.5 is much less than 7.3, so that also makes sense. Now moving on to part B, we are asked to do the same thing, but find the y component. And so the generic equation for the y component is equal to the magnitude of that vector times the sine of theta. So again, we have both of the values that we need for that, 7.3 meters times the sine of 250 degrees. And if you plug that into your calculator, you will find that the y component is equal to negative 6.9 meters. Again, a little sanity check. Right here is our y component, and it is pointing in the negative y direction, so the negative sign makes sense. And again, since this vector is mostly in the y direction, the magnitude of the y component should be pretty close to the magnitude of the actual vector, and 6.9 is close to 7.3, so all of that checks out, and this makes sense for an answer. And so these two answers right here are the final answers to this problem. Alright, so that's about it for this problem. If you found this video helpful, please drop a like, leave a comment if you have any questions or an idea for a future video, and lastly, please don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends about my channel so I can grow and help more of you guys out. I'm just helping you out. See you in the next video.